ages, man's quest for easy wealth has often led to gambling. There have always been those who chose to worship at the altar of that fickle goddess, Chance. Men who lived and sometimes died in the pursuit of excitement and riches gained without labor, risking all upon the turn of a wheel, rising to the peaks of affluence, then sinking to the depths of poverty and despair. Slaves to the varying moods of that heartless lady, Luck. What the gambler risks is his own, and when he loses, the despair, defeat, the bitter dregs of misery are his alone. But there are those who gamble with the spinning wheel of a speeding motor car, risking not only their own lives, but the lives and happiness of others. who suffer as a result of their own folly or the selfishness of others, the American Red Cross has trained a vast legion of drivers whose cars bear the symbol of mercy on their daily rounds. While upon highway and byway, men and women skilled in emergency first aid stand guard, forever ready to right the heartless havoc wrought by those who give human life. Get the first aid kit out of the car. Then get down to the Red Cross station for help. There's an accident on the road just inside of the bridge. Get a doctor quick. A man and girl are badly injured. Give me 4512, quick. Hello? This is Bill Brown, the neighborhood service station. There's been a crash a little south of Skelly's Bridge. Okay, we'll see you there. We're on our way now. Now. See what you can do for the man. Okay, I called the ambulance. Well, looks like a broken leg. Get the split. and suffering often occur far from any traveled road. And with one out of every four Americans living upon farms, there are millions who look to the Red Cross for aid when peace oil reveals its accident hazard. of human life. 
Yet home is a place set with countless pitfalls for young and old alike. And to avoid these everyday misfortunes, the Red Cross has advised and trained thousands of mothers and fathers. summertime, all America looks to the water for fun, frolic, and relief from oppressive heat, and millions flock to the glistening white beaches, while for youngsters all over the country, the good old swimming hole becomes an aquatic paradise. Music, a beautiful girl and a canoe, a perfect setting for romance and happiness but also a situation beset with lurking danger for the unwary. Someone somewhere in America is snatched from certain death by drowning. A boat capsizes. A swimmer ventures beyond the limits of his strength. Some accident befalls the incautious, and the cry is raised for help, help. Forever ready to answer this call are volunteer lifesavers trained by the Red Cross. Alert men and women who must not only bring the luckless victim to shore, but must fight on and on to restore the breath of human life. In this ceaseless fight for humanity, Red Cross instructors cover the country to train additional thousands in life-saving and the resuscitation of those whom they have rescued. Other workers of the Red Cross carry the lessons of emergency first aid far and wide, giving accurate, reliable, sensible information on what to do before the doctor comes. Always better than the pound of cure, the Red Cross offers its ounce of prevention, supplying suggestions that have time and again removed the causes of common accidents in homes or on the farm, while instruction in salvaging the human wrecks of accidental tragedies goes steadily on with new thousands qualified each year to administer that initial aid which so often means life itself to the victim. To bedridden veterans, the Red Cross Grey Lady is forever a welcome caller. Her hands so often supplying both comforts and necessities. While to those who live in perpetual darkness, volunteer workers of the Red Cross bring a soul-filling light through books transcribed into Braille. Whether the emergency lasts a lifetime, a day, or even an hour, the American Red Cross is dedicated to the tender service of mankind. To those in distress, the Red Cross nurse carries a sincere message of hope and comfort. Her hands, strong, capable, and gentle, smooth away the cares and sorrows of today, leaving in their place only dreams of peace, comfort, and tomorrow. <laughs> 